Hey guys, this is a super quick tutorial on how to use your iSparkle Action and the Pretty Actions Pure Color Workflow Collection. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. I'm scrolling down to the mini retouch set. I'm going to click on iSparkle and press the play uh, button here at the bottom of my actions panel and press continue. Okay, now if you have Photoshop version CS2 through CS6, simply click next to the folder on your little triangle or arrow to open and close it. If you have Photoshop Elements, you'll scroll down to the bottom of your collection. You'll see an action called um, Open Folder PSC. You'll want to play that action to open your folder in versions of uh, any version of Elements that you're using, 11 through 14. Okay, so now that I've got my folder open, I have many different um, options to choose from when enhancing uh, the eyes in my image. Okay, when making changes to any or using any of these layers, you want to click on the layer mask. That's these little black rectangles here. Okay, so we're going to start with bold catch lights. Now I need to make sure my brush is selected. If you don't see it, just right click and select your brush tool. Make sure white is the foreground color. If not, just click on your little arrow here to toggle between. And also make sure your brush opacity is at 100% right here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in uh, so I can see his eyes a little better. Now notice how his left eye is nice and clear and the right eye is uh, shadowed. It's not looking as sparkly per se as his left eye. So we're going to go in and make some adjustments. Let me zoom back out a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Uh, grab my brush. We're going to start with bold catch lights. Now this action, um, it enhances the catch lights and that's it. So I'm going to just brush over any uh, white or light reflections I'm seeing. Uh, so to see the difference that the action is making, or the layer rather, I can click on the little eyeball here. Notice how his eye has a little bit more of a glow to it there on the right hand side. If you want to bring that up, if it's not quite strong enough, just click on the opacity of that particular layer and you can bring it up. I'm going to keep that right around 45%. And we're going to go down to Lighten Iris. I'm going to try and zoom in just a little bit more here. Uh, okay, so I make my brush larger and smaller by using both the left and right bracket keys. And this image is saved for web, so it's a little bit pixelated as we're zooming in. Um, okay, so I'm just going to paint over his iris area. And it's still not giving me quite the lightness that I'm looking for. So again, I'm going to adjust the opacity to make it a little bit stronger. Notice how his eye is getting lighter and lighter as I bring the opacity up. Okay, I don't want to bring it up too high. Let's keep it right around 40% for now. I might change that in a moment. Okay, uh, now moving down to bold lashes. I'll keep that at 100% when working with women. I'll bring it down to about 40% um, with boys. And I'm just going to drag that down along his uh, lash line here. Sometimes I'll also, if they've got that dark rimmed edge on their iris, I'll just uh, paint over the outer edge of their iris as well to kind of define that. And also baby, I'm going to go over the lash line here. And it's just going to ever so lightly enhance. Okay. And again, you can move that up. I am going to bring that opacity up a little bit as well. Contrast. I'm just going to brush that on his uh, left eye here. And we'll keep that right around 70%. And clarity. Now I had just brushed the contrast onto his left eye because bringing contrast in also deepens and darkens uh, the darks. His right eye is already deep. Uh, it's got like a deep hue and it's dark, so I don't want to make it any darker, okay? I will bring a touch more clarity to the sign. 
Oops, I forgot I'm working at a 42% opacity. Um, this guy as well. Okay, so once you're done making adjustments, I'm gonna go ahead and close the folder here. I'm gonna zoom back out. Keep in mind, it is easy to overdo the eyes and you don't want to overdo uh, the eyes in your image. So I'm just gonna click on my eyeball, turn the action off and turn it back on and see what sort of changes I'm making. Now I really like the effect that I'm getting. I'll also bring the opacity down to zero sometimes and just work my way up and find where that best uh, fits the image. I think I'm gonna keep this one right around 75%. Again, I don't wanna overdo it. So super simple to use the eye sparkle action. I really hope this helped um, answer any questions or just uh, gets you a little bit more familiar with the eye sparkle action in the uh, Pretty Actions Pure Color Workflow Collection. Thanks, guys.